Hello everyone, this is Weblio TV with uh, maybe a deep review or more or less a deep review of, for my case, the free best app to watch movies or series or anime using your Nvidia Shield or another Android TV or Google TV box that you can use with your pen drive, your thumbnails and an external hard drive. In this case, as you are watching now in the screen, I have here my NVIDIA SHIELD TV 2017 edition with a hard drive, how I have the my small setup. And well, this is the, the controller. It's not the original, but it's work fine. So why these free apps are the best for me? Well, I'm going to show you some of the advantage of each one. I hope you can understand my English. I will try to be to speak um, the most fluently I can. The first one is called Nova Video Player. Why I like this? Because when you enter to the app, you will see that it's like, uh, it's very organized for me. Uh, you will see on the top, there is uh, on the right, on the top at the, the right, you will find the, the hour. If the hard drive is the first time you put a hard drive or a thumb drive with movies or series, you will see that the it starts to spin a circle. That circle is looking for the covers of the movies. For example, here I have a, a Dragon Ball movie and you can see that it put me a summary of the movie has a what to be played from the beginning, Mark has watched it, reboot from the gallery and has here all the kind of uh, integrated things that has in this case, this video has subtitle for the Spanish, for the Latin America and the English case. Here you will find the file info and all the the uh, the audio tracks that this file has and then if you want to change the background well you can do it it's very amazing and when you start to watch a movie for example i'm going to put it play from the beginning you will see that if i want to uh, for example if i want to forward the video i just press or I maintain pressing and start to forward, right? And it's very amazing. And now if you want to change the audio tracks or the subtitle tracks, you go to, you only press OK to pause the, game, the, the, the movie, for example, and going up and you can see the subtitle tracks, Spanish, Spanish complete, English, English complete. And if I go to the right, you will find all the audio tracks that this video has, this movie, Japanese, English, uh, a lot of uh, English, Latin America, Spanish, Catalan, Vasco, etc. Uh, inform information about the decoding, the format, I, I leave it that way, original as always. And if I want that uh, could play the single play or play all the folder, that is what I like. It's very easy. And if I go back and you OK and start to watching the movie again. This is the things I like from uh, Nova Player. It's very amazing to watch movies, to watch movies and shows and series. It's a very amazing. But I'm going to show you now an example. You can see that the subtitles are always white and it's very good to watch movies and see and show series. But to watch anime, I prefer the VLC. Why? Well, let's go to the VLC small review. Well, when you start to watching on VLC, the interface is more or less the same, but Remember that the, with VLC you can watch videos, audio, and, and Nova Player is only for videos. For example, are the movies I have on the hard drive, but when you take out uh, the, the hard drive and put another one with another movies, for example, this is still be here. And I don't know why when, you, I, when I refresh the screen, it's still there all the, the cover from another hard drive with another movies. I don't like that, that's the point. But 
if I go, I always go here where it says anime, that's the name of the hard drive. And you will see uh, that I have these three folders, uh, some folders. I'm going to movies and you will see here that, ah, oh, VLC finds for you the covers. Mm -mm. That's a mistake. These covers were created by the, the fan sub that create the file video, except this one, I, I, cre I put the, the cover for on my own. And if you want to know how I do it, I will do a later on another video. And when you enter there, you will see, and a good thing that has VLC that Nova Player don't have, that is excellent, excellent with the center of the, of the control. It's very, I like that like Nova and I'm going to the subtitles and you can see well the screen this 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 kind of screen I don't like it so much but I'm going to put the audio in Latin America and the subtitles complete in Spanish and when you see I'm going to pause when they start speaking you will see that the subtitles are not always white they have colors why is this because in this case the fan soup of this movie create special subtitles for this anime and sometimes animes has a up the screen and down the screen it's the, the song that the fan sub create and it's very important because it's it's diff it's divided on the top and at the bottom of the screen and this is create because the subtitle was on a format called AAS subtitles type right that the, the extension if i don't remember but nova player can't read very well so i recommend to watch anime on vlc if you like to download your own uh, kind of anime and another thing that vlc has is that nova player don't but it's not so important because it's not so often to watch for example i have this video and i show you the audio tracks, title tracks, and this movie has the second remaster. As you can see, you will see now I'm going to choose here, but this version is a remaster, for example, but the other version of the video is more crispy for me, but I have the two versions of the same. Maybe it's blurry the part, this part, but you can know the difference. So, in this case, VLC is excellent to watch anime. Let's finish with the, the third one for me that is Cody. I'm going to clarify this. Cody is an excellent application to listen music, watch pictures, watch videos, watch TV, watch YouTube. It has a lot of, a lot of kind of uh, things you can do here. It's very amazing. It's in this case, in that case, it's very amazing code. But I don't like too much Kodi to watch videos or anime, for example, uh, because it's not so intuitive like Nova and VLC. For example, I'm going to anime, I'm going to choose the same movie we were looking for. And when you want to forward the video and you press here, if you press too much, you take the, the, the movie to the middle of to the end. Those things are, can be changed, can't be changed everything. But what's the problem? It's not intuitive when you, when it's the first time, right? For example, if in VLC or Nova, you press OK and you pause the, the movie. No, here you must choose pause again. That's not good. Uh, maybe I don't find the, the option, right? But in this case, we are analyze and review when you install for the first time and you want to watch the movie right now. But here, it's I don't like it so much. And for example, if I want to choose the subtitle here, I must go to subtitles, go to subtitles, then and choose another subtitles, and then close. It's too many steps. Uh, well, in this case, I like that Cody can, can play the, the subtitle of the fan sub very well. For example, I'm going to pause here. You can see now that the, the, the subtitle is up and at the bottom. 
it's perfectly fine very good that is it's good for vlc but another thing that i don't like from it is for example you're watching the movie you want to pause no you can't pause you must stop it right if you play the movie for example and you want to go back because you choose another movie you go back the movie is still playing you must you must put here okay and stop to stop the video it's not so fluently in this case so is good Cody for the beginners more or less it's a good player it's a good program don't confuse this to me it's an excellent and keep it installed because it's it's very good and of course as um vlc if i show you i am going to post here and it's very i it's very confused because for example if you want to go down or up maybe the movie go from the beginning to the end i don't like that but well as the vlc if it's this important for you and it's not so common for example you can choose another version of the movie going to video setting and the video stream could be another remaster of the same movie and if you want to watch it for example so thank you very much for watching this deep review of my free favorite app to watch videos if you need uh if you like to have or you don't have a uh, android tv box to watch movies or watch uh, another platform streaming like prime or disney plus if you need one i'm going to put some associated links down below if you need one thank you very much please give me a like and thank you very much for all my English community. Have a wonderful day. Bye.